What's going on guys? It's Yaziah, your success strategist. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you the top five ways to dominate the next 12 months of your life. Let's hop right into it. Make sure that you're subscribed. Number one, if you wanna dominate the next 12 months of your life, you have gotta first set up for yourself a five to 10 year roadmap. Very important. You might be asking, why do I need to set up a five to 10 year roadmap, Uzziah, if I'm focusing on dominating the next 12 months? Because no matter how hard you're working in your life, if you're working at something that has nothing to do with the bigger picture of your life legacy, there's no way that you could possibly dominate, even if it looks like you are in public, in the public eye, right? So the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to focus on setting up for yourself a five to 10 year roadmap. Now, this might intimidate you because you've never really thought very deeply about where you wanna see yourself in the next five to 10 years. Well, guess what? Now is the time. When you look at very successful people, when you look at people that are successful in business, when you look at wealthy people, multimillionaires, what separates wealthy people from everybody else? Wealthy people, they think five, 10, 15 years down the line. Life is a game of chess and every chess master knows how to be able to think so many steps ahead. But what about you? Have you actually thought about where you want to be exactly within the next five years, the next 10 years? Because if you haven't, chances are there are certain things that you're doing right now that's actually sabotaging your long term because of the fact that you're only thinking in the short term. You know, there's a scripture that says where there's no vision, the people perish. And what you've got to do is you've got to develop a vision for yourself over the next five to 10 years. Here's what I want you to be thinking about. Okay. Life is a, uh, indivisible whole. I guess I would say, <laughs> you know, I they say the circle of life. There are multiple areas in this circle of life that you need to be thinking about in terms of where you want your life to go and how you want things to be over the next five to 10 years. So, you got a spiritual life, right? You know how they say, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Spiritually, where do you want to see yourself within the next five to 10 years? Financially, where do you want to see yourself within the next five to 10 years? If you don't set up this way of thinking, it's probably not going to happen because you don't stumble into success. Success is deliberate. You don't coast your way into the top of the mountain. It's a planned venture, okay? So across all areas, whether it's your relationship, whether it's your health, whether it's your finances, your spiritual life, your travel life, whatever the case it may be, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to pretend that you are in a movie theater looking at the movie of what you want your life to look like 10 years down the line. What type of people are you gonna be around? Where are you gonna be living? Who's gonna be in your family? Who's gonna be your friends? What type of money are you gonna be making? What type of things are you gonna be doing? What will you have accomplished? What type of person will you have become, okay? Because ultimately, this five to 10 year roadmap that you're setting, this is just the tip of the iceberg because it's giving a window into what you want to accomplish before the end of your life. See, that's the ultimate goal. A well-lived life is having a clear destination of where you want your life to be and then you working in reverse every single day to get big things done. See, most people, they just go through their life in a daze. They don't know where they wanna be at tomorrow. Hell, they don't know what they're gonna do for the day. And when you don't understand where you wanna be at farther down the line, you don't know how to plan accordingly for the now. By you visioning your future, it will help you make the right decisions for today. Set up a five to 10 year roadmap for yourself, okay? Number two, 
if you want to be able to dominate, not compete, not just exist, not survive, if you want to dominate over the next 12 months, you know what you got to do next? Once you get this five to 10 year roadmap set up for yourself, because guess what? Once you have this five to 10 year roadmap set up for yourself, you may begin to realize that you're doing a lot of things right now that don't have nothing to do with the person that you want to be five years down the line. And so the number two thing that I need you to do is I need you to cut 80% of all of the things that you're doing right now. That's a bold decision. But in order to get success, you got to be bold. Most people will never do that. And that's the reason why most people have never tasted any high level of success. Okay? 80% of all of your activities must be cut starting today. Why is that? Because if you've ever heard of something called the Pareto effect, that means that 80% of everything that you're doing right now doesn't really even make that big of a difference. It's only 20% of all of your activities that makes 80% of the difference. I'm gonna show you how this is true. Right now, I want you to think about your life. Think about the people that give you the biggest headaches. Right? Think about that. <laughs> the people that give you the most headaches, that cause you the most drama, it's only 20% of people in your life. It's not everybody. See, you might be so fed up with your life and where you are right now, you might just want to be able to just start life all over again. But I'm telling you, once you actually think about it, it's only a few people that are making the biggest happiness for you and the biggest regret. 20% of your activities in anything is responsible for 80% of your results. But you know what the problem is? You're so busy chasing your tail and following behind 80% of the things that don't matter, you don't even have time to put in work on the 20% of things that count. What I'm showing you how to do right now is to be able to how to do more with less how to be able to cut out the majority of things that you got going on right now and only focus on the number one most important thing that's gonna make the biggest difference. Maybe there's only three things in your life that you do in the fullness of your being that actually matters worth a damn. Everything else is just noise and you gotta start separating that signal from the noise, okay? Number two is 80% of all of your activities, okay? Cut them out, cut them out. Stop being busy being busy. There's a difference between being busy versus being productive. See, most people in their life, they're very busy. They're busy running here and there, doing errands. They're busy on phone calls. They're busy in meetings. They're busy working, but they're busy living on a treadmill. And when you're on a treadmill, you're getting a lot of running going. You're breaking a sweat. It feels like you're doing a big workout. But you know what? You're not actually going anywhere. Nothing is changing. And isn't that true with our lives? We get up every single day and we go to work. Then we come back home and we're like, damn, man, what did I actually do for the day? How is my life any different today than it was yesterday? And unfortunately, the hard truth is in many ways it's not. Why? Because you're majoring in minor things. You're not focused on the things that yields you the biggest impact. And life is short, man. You don't got time to major in the minors. You got to start being productive. Being productive is about doing the things that matter, that's going to get you the biggest impact for your life as a whole. Let's talk about the number three thing. The number three thing that I want you to do now that you've made your five or 10 year roadmap, you've understood what is a life worth living, so you've cut out all of the other activities that's not helping you get here. There's a lot of things that you're probably doing right now that's sabotaging where you could be in five to 10 years from today.
And you're saying, but Uzziah, I can't stop this, man, and I can't stop that. You're going to spend the rest of your life like a rat in a wheel, never getting out of the damn rat race, never getting out of just living for the moment, living for the day. So many people are miserable because they're stuck in the prison of today that they're never able to actually plan for tomorrow. Don't let that be you. There's so many people that go to the grave having never done this. Don't let that be you. Okay, number three, I want you to set up a financial plan for yourself to invest in your five to 10 year journey. Okay, the truth of the matter is this in order for um, you to be able to accomplish a good five to 10 years from now, you need to actually bring every being of you to the table. You cannot half ass it. You can't do this as a hobby, okay? You can't be half copped, just hoping that you're gonna land on a dream in five, 10 years from now. If you wanna get to where you need to get in five to 10 years, you're gonna have to put your all into it because guess what? The devil's gonna be busy trying to sabotage your life over the next five to 10 years. Emergencies are gonna happen. You're going to be set with rejections, heartbreaks, failures, right? All of these different unexpected situations coming in your life day by day, pulling you down instead of picking you up. All of these things are going to happen. And every dream that you have for your life is going to be that much farther away. And so every single day, it's not just about you investing in getting to the dream that you have in your mind. It's about you working past every deterrent that's going to try to stop you as a roadblock, <laughs> as an obstacle along the way. So what you got to do is set a financial plan for yourself. Invest your time, invest your energy, invest your attention and invest your money into where you say you want to be in five to 10 years down the line. I'm going to give you the honest truth. A lot of times, black folks will look at me and say, oh, well, you know what? He was probably born in the suburbs. That's what, how he knows how to speak. I was born in South Central LA during the Rodney King riots. I did not have the gift of gab growing up. When I made it to middle school, I was put in remedial English, okay? For any of y'all that don't know what remedial is, I was in a slow person's class. So, I was not born with this. I was not coming out of the womb just being some public speaker. You know what changed? I invested in myself. I looked at where I was at one point and I made a conscious decision to finally start paying myself first rather than paying all of these other corporations that want to be able to take my dollar but are not giving me anything back in return. If you want to be successful, You've got to invest in yourself because nobody is going to want to see you win more than you. Nobody's going to be more serious about being invested in your future and your life legacy more than you. So if you feel like you're going to a job, just working for a boss, that boss doesn't have as much planned for you as you could have planned for yourself. There's nothing wrong with working at a job. But what I am saying is you have to understand that your legacy largely comes from within. It's not gonna come from your family. It's not gonna come from your friends. It's not gonna come from whoever you're with. It's going to come from yourself. Invest in your next five to 10 years. How did I make it out of corporate America as a young black man in my 20s, starting my own business, working from home? I invested in it. I set a financial plan to say for every dollar that I make from this job that I don't want to be at by the time that I'm age 30, I'm going to invest this money in the top books, the top programs, the top mentors, the top conferences, the top seminars. There's nothing that I will not invest to learn how to be able to get myself out of this position. And I learned how to be able to start a business. I learned how to be able to make money from home. I learned how to invest in the real estate. I learned how to be able to speak 
to you. You've got to be willing to invest in yourself. I can tell you how to do this all day. I'm giving you this video all for free. But if you don't make the conscious decision to start making this happen, every single year that you have is going to look like a rerun of last year. You know, people always talk about these New Year resolutions and big goals and big dreams that they got, and they're doing the exact same thing that they've been doing five years ago, 10 years ago. Why? Because they don't invest in themselves. They might invest in a party. They might invest in the shoes that they're going out to buy. They might invest in an iPhone, but the iPhone is somebody else's dream. That restaurant that you're going to, that was somebody else's dream. When are you going to invest in yourself enough to invest in your own dream and bring it to life? And the only way that you're going to make that happen is if every fiber of your soul goes into it and God himself gives the increase. Just giving you all the blunt truth. You're not going to coast your way to the top. Number four, if you're going to be successful, but you still hang around with the same people that are not teaching you nothing, you do not learn nothing in the conversation, and you think that you're going to be able to go out and compete with some of the best people in the world, you got another thing coming. You are the average of the top five people that you spend your time around in terms of every aspect of your life. You hang around five broke people, you're bound to be the six. You hang around five people that are out of shape, you're bound to be the sixth person that's going to be in bad health. So the question is, what are you going to do to change your circle so that way the people that you're involved with is pulling you upwards towards success? When I got out of Los Angeles and I got myself into corporate America and started paying off student loan debt and started investing in real estate, I had to find a new circle. My boys that I was hanging with from the block growing up in L.A., I couldn't have conversations with them about how to pay off student loans. I could not have conversations with them about how to be able to invest my dollars after I had 90 plus thousand dollars of student loans paid off and now I had money that I didn't know what to do with. I had to change my circle. You are going to be the average of the top five people that you spend most of your time with. So, if you're thinking that you're going to get to success, but you're going to keep the same friends that are not helping you get any further in life, the same negative, dysfunctional, toxic people in your life that are always talking you down, that are always trying to kill your dream, you got another thing coming. And I pray that this is the wake-up call that you need from somebody that looks like you, that loves you enough to say, you know what, if you've been finding yourself different from everybody else, and you've been wondering, damn, man, how can I find somebody that can actually help push me towards my goal rather than take me away from it? Well, then today is your day. But now that you've got that person, you got to be courageous enough to actually take what I'm giving you and put it to work. There's a million other things that I could be doing right now than shooting this video. But I do it out of love for you because I want to see you successful. Number four, change your circle. And not only do you need to change your circle, here's the most important thing. You need to find a mentor. Find a mentor. Every successful person that's ever accomplished something great in their life has had a mentor. You look at Michael Jordan. You think he would have won all them six championships on his own without Phil Jackson? You look at Warren Buffett. He had the guy that started capital investing as his mentor. Y'all be giving these people too many credit, too much credit and too many props, man. You think they're some, from some different planet than you. These people, they breathe the same air as you. They got the same 24 hours in a day as you. But the difference is they knew how to maneuver the 24 hours that was given to them. And all of them made a conscious decision to find a mentor that accomplished the things that they wanted to achieve in their life so that way they could get to success as quickly as possible. How do you think Tiger Woods learned how to play golf? From his father, that was his mentor. He put Tiger Woods in a high chair to show him how to play golf as a child. 
you might have family and friends and co-workers and loved ones that are very well intentioned but if they have not accomplished the success themselves, they can never put you in a position to gain real success. All successful people in the world have mentors that have already accomplished the things that they want to accomplish, and now they just shadow their mentors that already has that expertise. You gotta do the same thing. Last but not least, you gotta dedicate yourself to learning faster. I know you might be asking, well, you know what, Uzziah? It's hard. You know what it's like, Uzziah. You know what it's like to grow through a neighborhood where there's not a lot of mentors that have actually accomplished the things that you want to accomplish. How can I go out and find a mentor to show me how to start my own business? Any no black business owners in my community. That's the reason why I'm giving you all of this information today on this channel. If you want to be able to work with me for free, all you got to do is click the link below. You have no excuses now. I'm giving you every opportunity possible to be successful. And if you need to watch this video time and time again, as you begin to get down in the dumps about the cards that life is handing out to you, watch the video over again, okay? Number five, learn faster. This is of the utmost importance. Most people in life learn lessons far too slow in order to be competitive. You ever heard your mama growing up say, you stuck on stupid? A lot of people are like that when it comes to learning the things that are necessary out of life. All successful people are learning machines. They are studying day and night to be the best of the best in their industry. Why are they doing that? Because society is always changing. You might have grown up around family and friends that told you, all you got to do is go to college. All you got to do is go to school and you've made it. And look at a lot of the people that have graduated from college now. Where did that advice get them? If you want to be successful, you got to constantly be learning because the world is always changing. Technology is changing. Businesses are changing. Some of the same businesses that you would go to every single day growing up, they're no longer even in existence. And those were at one time billion dollar corporations. Change is inevitable. And if you're not learning and you're keeping up with the current rate of change, guess what? You're going to be washed up. You got to learn faster. If the average person is learning something new once in a month, you got to be willing to learn something new once in a week. Okay, that's how you stand out. That's how you become extraordinary. You want to know how to be in high demand and not have to worry about always struggling, always wondering where your next meal ticket is going to be. Go harder than everybody else. Outwork everybody else. Put yourself in a position where you can become more skilled than the average person. And the way that you will do that is by finding one specific arena that you can shine you can thrive. You can be one of the best people in the world in doing what you do. And then you commit yourself to learning faster every single day. Learning, learning, learning. The more that you learn is the more that you earn. Okay? So I put this video together because I love you and I want to see you succeed. I want better for my community. Be your brother's keeper and share this video. There's a lot of brothers that need to hear this. There's a lot of us that never was taught this by our fathers, our brothers, our friends, our boys. Now is the time for us to actually make real strides towards success. You have no excuse. Be the example to the next man, okay? Share this video. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care.